ओके सो गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो द टुडे इज लेक्चर इज पार्सिंग द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज ओके सो पार्सिंग द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज इज टू गेट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंट और पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज डेटा ओके सो फॉर द मोटिवेशन बिहाइंड टू डू द पार्सिंग इन द नेचुरल लैंग्वेज प्रोसेसिंग आर वी आर हैविंग थ्री वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप्स फर्स्ट वन इज नेचुरल इंटोनेशन एंड द सेकेंड वन इज समराइजेशन एंड द थर्ड वन इज पैराफ्रेजिंग द टेक्स्ट सो लेट मी गो फॉर नेचुरल इंटोनेशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन फर्स्ट वन इज नेचुरल इंटोनेशन सो नेचुरल इंटोनेशन मीन सी हियर another name for the intonation natural intonation is like a pitch modulation so pitch modulation means depending on the voice frequency lowering the voice frequency and hiring the voice fre frequency so based on that we will uh, say the sentence as a declaration sentence or questioning the sentence the end of a sentence how it is closing okay sometimes we will lower the speech and sometimes we may higher the voice of our pitch so the procedure of lowering your voice and hiring your voice is called as a intonation natural intonation so simply we can call it as a pitch modulation okay so parsing can provide a description that identify a break in the sentence based on the pitch modulation we will identify that where the break is in the given sentences okay so here example is see this one she is going to home so she is going to home here pitch may fall towards the end of the sentence that means lowering the frequency we are declaring that sentence so lowering the frequency end of the sentence is closing with a lower frequency so that we can call it as a declaration sentence so same example we can uh, say in another way like uh, is she going to the home it's like a uh, questioning the sentence that means end of the sentence is raising the voice that means the modulation the pitch modulation frequency is raising toward end of the sentences so this time we can call this is a questioning the sentences so here you can observe the pitch modulation lowering the frequency and hiring the frequency so this procedure is nothing but a natural intonation then coming to the second one is summarization so summarization means the given large number of text the given large number of text it is going to convert into the small number of text without changing meaning of the given text so this is nothing but a summarization so here in the summarization procedure it will reduce the number of words but meaning remains the same so here consider a simple example beyond the basic level the operation of products vary widely so how many words available in this uh, sentence length of this sentence is too long so the same sentence we can write like this also the operation of products vary the length of words is very small limited so see the meaning of this sentence and this sentence is same but length of this sentence is long and length of this sentence is short this is a simple example of summarization then coming to the third one paraphrasing of the text so simply you can say that this is a procedure of replacing one word with another word without changing the meaning of this word simply you remember that synonyms synonyms in english it is available right same meaning is available for multiple words so like that so the procedure of replacing one word with another word without changing the meaning of a particular word so this is nothing but a paraphrasing the text so here see simple example 
same example whatever it is available in the textbook i took open borders imply increasing racial fragmentation in european countries so here i am taking this word okay european countries i am replacing this european countries with number of words i can write like a european states and i can change europe i can change countries of europe and also i can change europe nations like this okay so this is nothing but a paraphrase in the text then the applications of syntax analysis so how many applications of syntax analysis so till now we studied about introduction of syntax analysis and uh, parsing natural language motivational things like uh, intonation and summarization and uh, paraphrasing so all applications are available in this data itself okay so first one is machine translation then second one is error correction in the text then third one speech recognition systems as a language models then information extraction from the text language summarization producing entity grids for language generation that means language generation knowledge acquisition then dialogue systems like raising and slowing like that then text to speech systems and speech to text systems so these are all the applications of your <clears throat> syntax analysis okay so this is very important point in the nlp uh, the syntactic analysis of input can vary from very low level and also very high level so if very low level means part of, parts of speech tagging we need to consider if the given input sentence is vary from very high level means you can consider the predicate argument dependencies so the major problem in the parsing natural language is problem of ambiguity so ambiguity is nothing but you know right so having a multiple meanings for one word so that is the major problem in the parsing of the natural language okay thank you guys so in the next lecture i will discuss about the simple examples like a taking one given input sentence and uh, that input sentence we can uh, write a grammar context free grammar based on that context free grammar we can divide we can draw the tree of your context free grammar in the next lecture i will tell about this grammar with examples okay thank you thank you so much hope everyone will understand what i am telling hope everyone will support me thank you so much